What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. We got some guests today. today. We got some, some guests today. today. Mm -hmm. I Super excited. Yeah, so okay. Really I love when people come in the studio and have great energy. Yes. Look, this is the best mom and daughter duo yes. since Tina and Beyonce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got Dr. Mills and Ariel. Yes. And yes. 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 yes, yes. First of all, thank mm -hmm. y'all for joining us. Yes. Thank y'all so much. Y'all look so cute. Y'all do. Y'all dress the part, coordinate, and we all and love we you. All we coordinating a little bit. We all got our little hint of white on. You know what I'm saying? A little one, two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so y'all introduce yourself. Let the people know everything about y'all that they need to know. It's her birthday. You go first. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday girl. It's Thursday. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. Are you a, you a tourist too? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. Tourist, <laughs> okay, my name is Ariel, <laughs> aka the Zone Four Princess. Okay. I am the co-founder of Mel's Grills. I also work in sports marketing. Okay. I do a little bit of everything, <laughs> styling, creative direction. Okay. Everything you need. That's okay. me. Period. Yeah. Yeah. that. So I'm Dr. Mel's with Mel's Grills. I'm the president. Graduate of Howard University, 1996. Her. Real Dennis. OG from motherfucking West Philly. Period. Uh, drip, uh, mm -hmm. brains, Sorry. looks, everything. And we are so happy to be here. Thank you. So and happy. I just love the love energy in here is right. You. This is bad. I love you. <laughs> you know I'm a baddie now. Don't play with us. Fabulous. Now, I know that they call you auntie, yes. so we yes. auntie oh today. Because I'm auntie, too. <laughs> Auntie's cool. Okay. Y'all okay. my baby. Everybody okay. calls her auntie Dr. for Mills real. Auntie. But, okay. you, know, but yeah. you know what? I love the fact that you yeah. embrace that, because yeah. I think auntie is like an embracing. Yeah. Yeah. It's embracing. Yeah. I love it. You know, you know, I've been a dentist for 27 years, doctor, and it took them like, you know, 100 years to figure out I was a yeah. real doctor. Mm. Yeah. But when mm. my you babies... Really, you could do that? For I'm real? Saying, I mean, I'm pulling them too, but when my babies call me auntie, mm. that warms my heart. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I like it so too. So I got y'all. Yeah, yeah, I got y'all. Yeah, so yeah. a little bit, because you said auntie. doctor. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Yes. Talk about and your... And you went to Howard. I went to Howard. Ty went to Howard too. Oh, no! When did you graduate? Ain't you? 2000. Oh, okay. Oh, you a baby. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I graduated in 1996 from... Um, College of Dentistry, and uh, the HU experience was the shit. Mm. Mm. So, you know, when you earn a degree from um, HBCU, you earn that bitch. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. you work your ass, tell about it, baby. Mm. You work your ass off for it. Less Howard University. Howard University. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. That's one thing that I always say I wish, like, if I could redo life, I would have probably went to an HBCU because I didn't go to one. I just went to a regular Where'd you go? university. I went to Stephen F. Austin State University. It does, that's in Texas. Nacogdoches. It's in Nacogdoches, uh -huh, Texas. Okay, it's like uh -huh. two hours away from Houston. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was cool. I feel like I still definitely got, like, the college experience, right, but yeah, obviously, right. you know, it was very diverse. Yeah, right, yeah, right. I right. definitely wish I would have went to an HBCU. But you know what, baby? You know, it don't matter where you go as long as you go someplace. That's true. You understand? Yeah. You know, and, and you're meant to go where you went. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. 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 I agree with I that. I went to HBCU. You where did. you go? I went to TSU. Did okay. you really? Yes. yes. I Texas like, Southern no. University. Yes. And it's crazy because, I mean, well, obviously y'all don't know my background, but I went to an all-white school growing up. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, didn't. I, I graduated that. from an all-white school, so moving into that trend, oh, Lord, I went black and never went back, baby. Yeah. I yeah. had a time. I had a time. We can uh -huh. relate on that. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like that HBCU experience, mm -hmm. yeah. like, it's it was... nothing like yeah, it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was nothing like it. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. amazing yeah. for me. Yeah. That's what all my friends that went to HBCUs tell me all the time. They be like, I had so much fun. Mm -hmm. Can I but I feel like my there. school was a party go, school, too. I wanted to go, but I just couldn't do the dorms. That, I'm a little yeah, she, she, Oh, you didn't want to stay in the dorms? I'm real I don't know why. I did not get the dorm experience. I feel that. That's that tourist shit. My mom got an apartment for me and my sister, so I stayed off... My freshman year, yes, I stayed off campus. I did. Okay. I no, did. Melissa yeah. was like, you gonna, you gonna stay on that dorm. You gonna stay on that dorm. You gonna get that experience. Yeah, uh, she was like, okay. Because she went to a campus. private school. So oh, yeah. okay. And, yeah. and all her tuition was, you know, paid in full. So, bitch, you gonna stay on I know that's right, right, mama. The shit. Yeah. The fuck? Okay. Talk about y'all's relationship. Because y'all seem like y'all really, really close. I'm gonna it, let you stuck It took some time. <laughs> it took some time. Tell the yeah, story. Well, the, story. the thing is, we have very similar, like, personalities, but, like, the core is very different. Like, mm -hmm. we're two very different people. Mm -hmm. We see the world very differently. Like, mm -hmm. we just have very different opinions. So, 
it took her mm -hmm. a because she's had to do everything on her own. She's had to mm -hmm. make it. She's had to. So she's I don't. She's not bossy, but she's very much like this. This. It was very militant. Yeah, like very much so. so My I'm, way or no way, mm -hmm. girl. And I'm very. I'm like more like chill. Like I mean, I I'm I'm hyper. You know what I mean? But I'm very like calm. Da, da, da. So it took her a minute to like see that I wasn't like fucking up. Like mm -hmm. I knew what I was doing. Like you raised me right. I had a good mm -hmm. head on my shoulders. Like it really is trusting the process. Process with a yeah. like only I'm the only child, mm -hmm. mother Me daughter, too. single single mama. It takes a minute because yeah. it's two women, right? Yeah. And yep. you know how yep. bitches be. Yep. Oh yes. Yep. And yep. I mean, yep. I, I mean, I was spoiled, <laughs> so I wasn't always the most understanding right. and grateful. Like right. I, I had a lot growing up, so mm -hmm. it just took time. I had to lose everything mm -hmm. to really understand mm -hmm. what life really was about. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. now, like, we didn't talk for a year. Like oh, we, wow. we really didn't Girl. talk for a year. This was Girl. 2021. I was homeless. Like, mm -hmm. I moved around place oh, to wow. place. Mm -hmm. But, you know, God brought us back together last mm -hmm. Mother's Day. So we just celebrated. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. good. Yeah. No, that, no, that no, deserves no, no, no. amazing. It no, does God deserve it. She, yeah. she ain't telling you the whole story. Like, uh -oh. yeah. no, I mean, no, no, but <laughs> it's, 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 it's most of it's good. But the thing <laughs> is, like, as a single parent, like, this, what you were saying, you move heaven and earth to do anything for your kid. Mm, so right. I was working in the, in the practice like 10 hours yeah. and then rushing to get her to, and, and put her in private school, yeah. gave her the best. By herself. She, she was in fucking Europe before I even went. Yeah. And yeah. she went to some place and I didn't even know it was a continent. Yeah. And she was like, you know, mommy, she's like, mommy, you know what Stonehenge is? I said, Stonehenge? I told her Where is it? That's what I said. <laughs> and she was like, you're so fucking stupid. I said, I know, I, like, I, so, I, but, but the long story <laughs> short is, is we we were best friends. Yeah, yeah. are. And, we I mean, are. No, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. We was best friends, mm -hmm. and I never gave her credit mm. because all I saw was I'm in fucking work mode to yeah. protect my baby. Yeah. But then she grew up on me, and she left the house, mm -hmm. and so she was gone out of my. How your best friend for like 23 years mm. be gone all right. of a sudden? Yeah, I ain't right. know no where she was. I yeah. ain't know where she was at. She wouldn't communicate. And it got to a point, like for the first three months, I was like, crazy. Yeah. Right. It's amazing that I didn't do surgery on the wrong tooth because I had to go to work. Mm -hmm. Not knowing where my best friend was, if she was dead or alive, if somebody had fucking raped her, mm -hmm. molested, I ain't no shit. Right, right, but right. After, and, and the Lord knows, you know, I'm saved. But, um, right. Three months and one day, I said, Lord, I'm going to give her to you. Mm -hmm. I'm a control person. Mm -hmm. I got to make it work. So three months and one day, he took that burden off of me. Mm. And I was like, I'm letting her go. Yeah. So the next seven months, I lived my life. I took trips to Africa. I, I mean, Ooh, I, I, she I, was, I, she I, was outside. I, I, was, I, was, I was outside. I was outside. I was outside. You left her out of the hallway. I de I was and you was in Ghana. I, I, I was in a national for four months. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, because, <laughs> because I put her in God's no hands because I didn't know what she, she wouldn't communicate with me. I didn't know where she was at. Mm. So long story That's short, funny. like, oh, baby, no, I'm not. I don't mind talking, I'm talking to my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Dad. But, but, the but long story yeah, short, yeah, that yeah. Mother's Day, I went to church and... This is, this is a testimony. Mm -hmm. when, when God about to do something, he going to give you a warning. Mm -hmm. And I woke up that morning going to church. I said, ooh, Thank something you. good about to happen. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. Mm -hmm. Went to church and, and came back home and take a nap. I take a nap at the church. Mm -hmm. And every when I Sunday. woke up, that's a true <laughs> story. Every, I woke up, looked at my phone, and she said, happy Mother's Day. Aww. That's a true story, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to mess my lashes up. But anyway, no, anyway yeah. she said, if you want to talk, I'm going to talk to you. Mm. Girl, I got out that bed. And when I tell you babies, now hear me carefully. When mm -hmm. I tell you babies, God, we, we, we talked for four hours. Mm. No condemnation, no judgment, mm -hmm. no finger pointing, just prodigal child, welcome home. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Whatever I got to do, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. real, shit. I'm so, real shit. I left Mel's for a year. No, she did. Like, I didn't. I was not. No, was, no. She won't so, fuck with how did that mm -hmm. make you feel hearing that your best friend, your only child, was homeless and Girl, like, I, were you mad at her for not being like, okay, you should have just put your pride aside and called me? You, you got great questions. That's baby. a great question. Because I mean, no, I be thinking no, no. about like if no, I did that to my mom. As a parent, as a parent, you don't know because you know you're not perfect. And I gave Ariel 
everything. Mm-hmm. She had designer Louis at two years old. She had everything. Mm-hmm. She, no, she been put, put it on. on. No, she been, she been outside. <laughs> like, like Europe. How many continents you been? I didn't know what a continent was. I How many to, continents I, you I been was, at? I've been to the four of the seven continents before I turned 18. Oh, wow. I was oh, so, 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 yeah. so when she left me, I was devastated. Mm. I was heartbroken. Mm. Yeah. And I was more heartbroken than angry because mm. as a parent, you don't know where your child, you know, shit be happening. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Motherfuckers is crazy. Real shit be happening. And, and this Real was Ariel. Real shit did happen. And, <laughs> right. And, and she ain't yeah. hard like I am. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. hard. Oh, my, please. Nah, okay. nah I won't okay. give you that. Listen. I'm just saying, I'm hard. 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 I'm hard, but in a different way. But okay, I'm going to let well, you finish, well, though. Like, hard like I am. No, like, right. I'm not a West, West Philly. Philly slime ball. That's what right, I call right. them. West okay, Philly right. slime so, ball. No, I'm so not that. <laughs> you don't know where your child is at, yeah. whether they're dead or alive. Yeah. And, they, and they won't... I got mad when she wouldn't Ooh, call me I back. Because mm-hmm. I was hitting her up and I didn't want to cry. I was like, girl, was please leave me up. alone. Like, just, please. Just, just let me know you lie. But, right, right. Girl. But, Ariel, how did you do that for a whole year? I feel like, I don't know, because I grew up really close to my mom, mm-hmm. too, and my dad, and, like, kind of spoiled, too. And I just feel like mm-hmm. I would have called my mom and my dad to be like, look, I'm living on the freeway after two months. Uh-uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I would have been like, mom, I need to come home. How you did know you what? do that for you know a whole what? year? It was God's ordained plan. Mm-hmm. For me, mm-hmm. everybody has a different you story, different test. Right. I had to go through it. Go through I it. didn't yeah. really know what life really was about. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. also, yeah. I can't testify and yeah. save people if I yeah. haven't been through what yeah. they've been through. I've slept on couches. Yeah. Right. I've had no money. I've yeah. door dashed mm-hmm. for months. You know what I mean? I have, I've missed meals right. for days. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? I've had to figure it out. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like it made me a better person. It made me a beast. You have, and, yeah. And really, like, it was just, I was just, I mean, I love my mom, but sometimes her personality can be a lot for the type of person I am. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't need to be told certain things. Like, I got it. I'm good. Right, like, trust the right. Like, I'm good. So it was like a lot. It was because I was working at the office. Mm-hmm. We were doing Mel's Grills. I had just dropped out because God was like, you need to go because I got something else for you. And I was right. like, you know, I, I really do follow God's leading. That's another mm-hmm. thing about me. I don't do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not how See, I live my I life. Doing God made me do it. God yeah. told me. <laughs> God said. <laughs> See, but you're going to be saying about the wrong right. thing. You know what my Jesus said, girl. I'm no. about to play, but I know your ass though. Right. I know what your mom is saying. Right. Right. <laughs> judgment, no judgment. Judgment. <laughs> I cannot with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm I mean, Jesus. Y'all got to no know leaks. That ain't. That is not God. Not the God I serve. <laughs> not the business. But no, I'm glad that you said that because yep. I think yeah. I grew up the same way. I was yep. very spoiled. When I moved mm-hmm. to Atlanta, I literally mm-hmm. told my mom two weeks before I came mm-hmm. because that's, that's her. she was like, mm-hmm. yeah. not with me leaving yeah. the nest mm-hmm. at all. So I had to come out here. I had to struggle. I was living on her mm-hmm. couch. Yeah. I had $3 to my name. Yeah. I had to go through it all. Mm-hmm. But if I wouldn't have did that, like, right. I right. wouldn't be you. Right. Right. You wouldn't right. be you. Right. Right. God right. uses Everything. Every situation. He, does. he yeah. uses everything yep. and for yep. your benefit. Yep. Right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. For your benefit. There are people that y'all mm-hmm. you sometimes I you know, you start talking and Holy mm-hmm. Spirit will just take over and you don't mm-hmm. even know like stuff that y'all say is mm-hmm. setting people free. Mm-hmm. Yep. You yep. have no yeah. idea. It's just you just being you, but if you hadn't yep. Yep. built and struggled yep. and worked, right. you wouldn't have that wisdom and yep. knowledge and discernment yeah. to yep. really like yep. know. And I ha- I've been through I've been through basically everything but hard drugs and being trafficked. And I'm about to turn 25. Like yeah. I didn't seen it. Yep. Oh, seen it right. All. Yeah. I didn't seen it all. Like, and then like Let's talk about Shout out to Woodward Academy. They're going to be bad. I'm calling them out. Shout out to Woodward Academy. <laughs> I went to Woodward, a very prestigious private school. Okay, I jumped okay. up at Fortune 15, so I had me a little fake. I was in Club Compound at 15. Like, I was out. Not at Compound. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. I, look, I used to be in Pink Monkey when I was 16 <laughs> in Houston. Period. You did? <laughs> I was outside. Where did I used to be? I used to be at Nick's. I was See? like 17 with yeah. a little fake ID, but not. I know. was outside, so I, I like I really I did a lot in high school, and then like she was she would pick me up late, so I would like go. I would hop on the Marta, ride up to Lenox, come back down, spend some money, come back down right, right before she wouldn't even know. Yeah. Like I put that shit in my locker, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean. I was keeping it pee, you know what I'm saying? So it's like well, I was pushing pee. That <laughs> was very much. She's pushing like, pee. she was keeping so it pee. It was just an accumulation of everything, and right. it just it just bubbled, like you know. Just yeah, bubbled yeah. and then, 
You know, now we're in it so it's better this way. If we yeah, hadn't, if we okay. hadn't taken this time, that. we would still be no, bickering really behind. And you can't run a business and y'all don't really like each yeah. other. Y'all don't really yeah. know each other. Y'all don't really respect each right. other. Because I was you trying to what? Yeah, go ahead, my sorry. What, what, what I'll you talk said, forever. No, what you're saying is what? perfect because I didn't respect her. Mm. She's really and it's true story. Because I took her for granted. Because I was like, you know, bitch, I'm I'm supporting you. I'm I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And 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 she really is me. the genius behind Mel's Grills. Mm -hmm. She is the stylist. She creates them custom renderings. Mm -hmm. Like we just came back from uh, Deion Sanders, and she created like custom designs for all of his children and Coach Prime. Mm -hmm. Them bitches is hard. Yeah. I mean, she she's rivaling <laughs> Gabby <laughs> Alonzo. No, it's true. She's hard. Hard. She, she, she's hard. But she's rivaling. She's she's rivaling Gabby Alon. She's rivaling Eliante. Yeah. yeah. And the bad part about it is that. They, they, they bucking us because we women. Mm. But she got, like, intellectual, intellectual property that's just as hard that. as them motherfuckers. Yes. That's, I mean, so, so she... Yes. I really had to see her yeah. in a grown-up light. Mm. Well, you're a scientist, Mom, so she didn't, like, understand creative and, like, mm -hmm. it can and pay bills. Of, like, social media. media. And I yes. that and and I'm glad y'all saying this because this that. actually kind of brings us Ooh. into our first topic oh. that we wanted to talk to y'all about, mm -hmm. which is, like, running a mother-daughter business. Hold on, before, before we get into that topic... Yeah, get, 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 Refreshing. <laughs> uh, what were you drinking today? Drink, 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 I thought you. Oh, right oh right okay, there. okay. It's definitely giving it's spring. Oh, no. This is auntie yeah. mocktail. Yeah. Yeah. She gave okay. a different, a different cup. Okay, yeah. ain't, ain't no alcohol in this. No way. alcohol in yours. Okay, so this is this called we go together. <laughs> right? Shut this fucking we sound thing down. Real bad. Real lit. What's this lime? It's a little lime, a little lemon, a little bit of everything, a little mint, and we have a mocktail version. So we have tequila or Tito's, okay, in there. Then we have some fresh mint and cucumber muddled. No, this is good. We have some lemon and lime juice. We have some agave, and then it's topped with ginger beer. And then for the mocktail, no alcohol, but it has all the same. Oh, this is good. Can I like pay pay you to come to my house for like events? Absolutely. No, seriously, I'm gonna do that. You better get, but bring her back now. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring you. No, 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 we're not gonna do This is good. I'm tired of y'all no, coming bring to the bag. Because we need her bag. <laughs> Trying to stick. Let me tell you something. This is good. Now, I'm just saying. This y'all stay out you this. We want I her. Help. This is good. We, we, all the, we, all the well, baby. We want Ty to make her money. Yes. But y'all stop coming to this motherfucker trying <laughs> to tell that. my girl. She I, belongs to me. <laughs> yes. That's how we feel about Marco and 85 South. We love y'all, but I was like, Marco's right. supposed to be with us, but he'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm shooting away. No. I'm like, okay, Marco. That's my baby. Now, before we get into this first topic, I yes. just want to yes. hear the story of why you don't drink. Yes. Ooh. Real quick. Ooh. Real quick. Oh, that's... Oh, are you okay, ready for let me, that? Let me, let me see if I can sum that shit up. Okay. <laughs> sum it up for us. I'm going to be straight 100, because I'm going to set somebody free. Oh, um, thank you, Jesus. Hopefully it's me. No, me too. seriously. Uh, I need when, to be released when, from the shackles. When shackle. you're a single mama and <laughs> you're a business <laughs> owner and you have your own practice. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of stress. So um, I was single mama and I had to keep my child in private school and running a practice and I had people's, you know, lives, people depend on me for their check and everything. Mm. So I had to make it happen. So it, I began to drink a lot. Mm. And my drink of choice was Grand Marnier. Ooh, and I would drink, was, I'm, I'm a yeah. drink. I'm a fucking drink. Fuck that watered down shit. You I'm, I'm a drink. Get straight to I'm the a, point. Straight to the head. Straight straight to the point. So I would like stop at the liquor store and get like a fifth a night. And mm. so, like, I would be drinking a fifth a night. And it was by the grace of God that I didn't fuck somebody up. I would yes. come to, like, you know, work smelling like alcohol. I would come <gasps> to church smelling. Wow. It's true. It's, it's, I'm going to set somebody free. But the main thing is that I used to come and assault my child. Mm. Like, you know, when you, like, like drinking... And you know you like get like in a different mindset. It, it, she different, wasn't there anymore. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't me. She wasn't and, there. And for some reason, like I would have a hard day. I would be drinking, and she would say something, and I'd be like, "I'm gonna fuck you up," and mm. I would go in on like like West Philly assault. Wow. I would say this, and I'm glad you. Yep. I will argue with anybody. Yep. I don't give a damn. Yep. I ain't arguing with no bitch from Philly. No, no, no. West, I ain't no, doing it. West Philly. West Philly. Philly. I thought that statement was West supposed Philly. to go somewhere. No, I'm West West Philly. Philly. I will argue. West Philly. West Philly. I'm not don't. doing yeah. it. I'm not we, doing we, it. We, 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 we hardcore and, and we crazy. But that's don't the real it. reason because, you know, it got to a point I had surgery and I thought I was like slick because I had drunk a fifth and I was staying at my grandmama's. And I was at her house and it was New Year's Eve and Ariel was going out and I told my aunt because I had snuck a fifth of liquor in 
aunt, uh, my grandmama's house. Mm. And I told my grandmama, I said, uh, Nana, I, I need to go home because it's a true story. Mm-hmm. Mm, I, I want to praise this. the Lord in my own home. Lie. On New- Lie. 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 On New Year's Eve. <laughs> I, I want to be home praising the Lord on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and so Nana, Nana believed me. She took me home. And she took you home. I said, yeah, I'm going to get lit. So I had me a fifth, and Ariel was out. I just stick a straw on and go. I st- I put my lips on the head and turn my wow. head. Wow. Yeah. So long story short, uh, Ariel busted me. She came home with something, and I was twisted, you know, blacked out and shit. So no, uh, that was. I think that was like we had a partner. I, I needed like contacts. You needed I needed contact. Something. And, and she, she was just like I all was, over the place. Was, and she was like, I'm not getting. It. Yeah, I was wow. like, I, was I just need animal. contacts, my yeah. love. I was yeah. And I was ugly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'ma set some black woman free. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there are women who are walking around with red bottoms and you know they got the thousand mm-hmm. dollar hair and and shit. And their souls is tormented. And hurting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to set you free that you can be fabulous, but let that liquor go. When it, when it comes to a point where you're messing with your child, abusing your child, mm-hmm. uh, putting your livelihood at risk, yeah. let it go. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Go. So that's why I don't drink. And let me tell you something. I can go. Who the sun sets free? It's free it's indeed. It's free indeed. Because, Amen. Come on. I pass that. Pass the block. I know. Pass the plate. I already know. I said, I've been mean? alcohol free for like what five, six years. Yeah, and know. then you know, like cold from, turkey never went cold to, turkey. Uh, uh, cold uh, turkey. Was it, w- so you just decided one day I'm gonna no, stop. No, 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 no. Ariel the, yeah. and Nana came to my house because because she, she took, had an intervention. She, she had an intervention. Okay. And Ariel came in and she was in tears. She said, "Mommy, if you keep drinking, I'm not coming home." Mm. And Nana said the same thing. I was like, "You know wow. what? This ain't even worth losing my child." It's a, yeah. it's a miracle I didn't wind up in foster care. Yeah. Like the, I never had to call the cops. Yeah. Like yeah. I physically yeah. assaulted her. Right. Yeah. So like, it got I, pretty bad. It got yeah. bad. Yeah. And and then it sh- show you how cool God is. You know, West Philly, we smoke Newports. Mm-hmm. Stop smoking Newports. Yeah. Of, of thirty years, mom. Wow. But that was over. That was like this last uh, February Lent. 23rd. No, this was Lent. Like she fasted yeah. cigarettes from yep. from yeah. Lent this mm-hmm. year and then never went back. Never went back. God is good. I mean, I'm okay. But but uh, but I'm gonna tell you something. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Sobriety. Sobriety. I'm not doing it. And but good for you. No, 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 I'm, saying, I'm saying, but 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 you can still be cool and yeah. not do the shit. That's but true. I'm gonna say one thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up. The Lord said, if you stop drinking, mm-hmm. this is what He said. Mm-hmm. You know, you and can He hear. do tell you stuff. Ha, come on. He said, if you stop drinking, I'm gonna blow your mind. That's what He said. Mm-hmm. I heard Him say that. Oh, okay. And I said, he said no, that to you. He said to me. No, okay. not to you. Not to you. No, He said to you. He hey, said, all right, God. So, God. That's not okay. Right okay. no down, Shotty. Right down, my boy. <laughs> I'm taking it too far. That's what I would have said. Hold on. That sounds like the devil. Because what, <laughs> what they turn water to. Wow. Oh, you knew that part, though. Indeed. What is that? <laughs> you crazy. Well, he said he going to blow your mind. He sure did. And you listen. And listen to him. And, yeah. everything and it's been crazy ever the, since. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Everything's up with Mel's Grill. Yeah. yeah. I love. Okay, so that's what we're going to get into, the mother yeah. and daughter. Go mm-hmm. ahead, Dre. My bad. Go ahead. No, it's queen. okay. Because I feel like that was a beautiful testimony. It yeah. actually reminded me a little bit of my dad. Because he was... Mm-hmm. Like, he used to drink a lot and stuff, mm-hmm. too. And he used to smoke cigarettes, but then he found out he had heart problems, and he just stopped cold turkey. Cold turkey. God yeah. is good. But then Not he started real. again, girl, started like, again. 10 years later. <laughs> Not the cigarettes, but uh-huh. drinking, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so we the first topic we wanted to talk to y'all about is running a mother-daughter business. Okay. Because I, I want to talk, like, get in on that because mm-hmm. you said, like, you didn't respect her. Right. Because I feel like the dynamic Between of running a, a, a business with a friend, mm-hmm. it's still hard, but it's easier because we're equal. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, we're peers. At the end of the day, this is still your mom. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like whatever she says, like, even if you have a great idea, no. it's going to work? She's like, okay, I'm mom. I have the final say so. Hell no. Because respectfully, she don't know about this industry. This, mm-hmm. And she this don't know generation. about social media. Mm-hmm. Okay. She, and I know that. Yeah. She, and, but she, it I took her a minute to understand mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But yeah. she has the mm-hmm. business acumen. She mm-hmm. has ran a private practice for mm-hmm. 15 years. Mm-hmm. Right. So she ha- she knows, like, mm-hmm. how to discern with mm-hmm. vendors and, like, mm-hmm. you know, the back end and just getting the money right. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. we... we what I don't have, she has. Right. Yeah. What I have, yep. she doesn't have. Yep. So yep. it works yep. well. Yep. But yep. honestly, we've always had, I mean, it's 
sounds crazy, but we've always had more of like a sister relationship. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Cause yeah. like other than the drinking shit, she's she's so cool. My, like my house was the trap house. Like mm -hmm. I'm a yeah, like you know everybody <laughs> came to the house and smoke mm -hmm. weed. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the garage was care. the place to go. Like mm -hmm. she didn't she didn't care. Mm -hmm. So not really. Like and she now she knows she sees mm -hmm. it for herself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the it's. The, it's there, like right. you know what I mean. Because so, that's because of that separation we had. Yes, it yeah. wouldn't have been that way. Lives. It would have taken yeah. a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah. So to going get there. back to like you saying, like you grew up in the trap house and everybody was there. Was that from an angle of? Because some parents, like mama, I used to have the party house, mm -hmm. but my okay. mom looked at it like I'd rather the kids be here that's and yeah. I can see that's what they're doing that's that's than right. I don't know where they're that's at. Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So was yep. that kind of your yep. view on yep. it? Yep. 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 And 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 then um, it's like. You just want to be real with your kids. Like, you know, yeah. we, we, we've had friends, and their kids be old as hell. And they Don't be know like, nothing. you know, just having a sex talk at 18. Mm. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, you, you, you got to tell your kids real shit. Yeah. Like at five, six, seven, eight. Because mm. it's a real dangerous a real world, world out here. Yeah. You can't hide shit. Yeah. Because right. kids is different from when I was growing up. Mm. You got to be real 100 with your children. Right. So I had, I had wanted them to come in my house. I got the food and everything. And that way I knew they were safe and, yeah. I but think that's, right. that's the best approach. I mean, yeah. I'm not a parent yet, but yeah. I do think that that's the best yeah. approach as I a parent. Agree. Because at the end of the day, yep. gonna kids do gonna do it anyway. Gonna do it anyway. My mama used want. to pull out the medical journals and show me pictures of like STDs and yep. stuff. And she'd oh, be wow. like, I mean, yep. you gonna do it anyways, but I'm yep. just showing that's you, right. be careful. And boy, did you do And she put me on my... Oh, why you gonna put your friend out My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I did all this. I definitely was out here. I definitely was out here doing some shit. And by the grace God of God, told me to say that. Crazy. She said he did it. Oh my God. And by the <laughs> grace <laughs> Amen. And by the grace of God, I, right. I, I am Woo. STD free. Yeah. STD free, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. God. Come on, God. Come on, God. Come on, God. Cheers on that okay, one. Okay, look, cheers <laughs> on that one. Because before I got saved, baby, uh, you did know. Did you feel, like, once y'all, like, got back together, did you feel mm. that pressure of, like, trying to prove yourself to her? Mm -mm. I work for Jesus Christ, so that's yeah. the only person I need to, like, submit to right. and prove. I know my heart, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And she saw it. She saw the change. Mm -hmm. Baby, I was humbled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. After, I mean, it, but, let me, but let, me, let me tell you the shot of news. Mm -hmm. I went from the couch to the 16th floor in Dallas. Hello. Period. Let me tell you about my Don't play. Let about me tell you about a, rest, a restorative Let's God. talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, so, I mean, no. I don't, no. It, it wasn't proving. I just, I wanted Mel's Grills to go. I was mm -hmm. willing to do anything. Like, right. I, I wanted it to work, and it, it started going. Like, right. I mean, it's, it's been slow. We're, we're, we're getting motion, but it's, it's been hard. Mel's Grills has been hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. been hard from the jump. But you know what's crazy about a business? And I tell people this all the time. I think a lot of times people look at others and they feel like, oh, they just popped up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. right. But the mm -hmm. good thing about, like you said, like social media, it mm -hmm. just takes one thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That one, one thing. thing and it just be like, nothing will never be the, the same. same. Right. Yeah. And that's why I say right. it's so important right. to be consistent and right. don't stop. Yes. Right. Because I there's agree. a lane yep. for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. You know Agreed. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, do you feel the like the pressure though, just to, like make her proud? Because I know when we started oh, yeah. this, like our parents didn't understand. Mm -hmm. They was like, well, "What the hell is this?" Right. Yeah, my, mama and my, my mama and my daddy was like, "Girl." Yeah, mm -hmm. like my mom was definitely like, "What the hell is this?" Y'all got a you degree, know? and this is what you do, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you they still like feel pressure to like make her proud and yes. you know? do, like, live up to her standards. Yes. I mean, I feel like my standard for myself is probably higher than hers. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. very... Mm -hmm. Nobody is harder, to, mm -hmm. harder on me than mm -hmm. me. Same. Mm -hmm. I have... That's, the, that's some Taurus that is. is. I am... I have... I'm super hard on myself. Very yeah. high standards yeah. for... Because I know what I know what God put inside mm -hmm. of me. And I'm... I'm I'm turning 25 and some I have now I have a different perspective. Mm -hmm. I'm not disappointed, but I was. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't got this, this, mm -hmm. this, this, this. Like I still need help in this, this, this. Right. Like, mm -hmm. so I feel like I'm it's turning for me now. You mm -hmm. know, you can feel like mm -hmm. the shift, you can feel the acceleration. Right. But absolutely, I want, I want my mom to live like in leisure. Like I want to be able to pull out the racks. Like, mom, don't worry about it. Like the house paid off. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm sending my mom on vacation. Like I booked you this trip, go. Like that's just how, what I want to do for my mom because what she did for me. Same, right. Yeah. So yes, I feel that that's pressure so nice. immensely so for sure. She, she don't care. That's, I mean, but, that's, that's so nice, baby. Yeah. Because she's always been a good baby, and, and and you know, I'm really nice. I'm really nice. But it's like you know, 
there's nothing I wouldn't do for my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of her um, and her accomplishments. And, um, you know, she's a good kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and I can tell you babies, and I'm going to call you babies because I'm 64, but... Um, you are. Well, you look good. I, I, I know, but and thank I'm you, I'm right baby. behind no, you. No, I'm 55. I'm just, I mean, you but y'all stop playing. Y'all are so, I am. Mean. Y'all look so Girl, she lying, because I'm like, that don't even sound you, right. Yes. You <laughs> mind y'all business. <laughs> Go ahead, but, so. But, but I, I just love y'all because um, I love seeing young black women. Yes. Yeah. Push through it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. just by this moment right here, some vision person watching is going to see right here and be like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Who had given up hope before. Yeah. And there's so many sisters, and for what Ariel be telling me, like they be having babies for all these rappers and everything. You ain't got to do, and I don't, don't. don't want to take your, your topic, but you ain't no, got to do it. that. I told you, you we get off topic all the time. But, but, it's fine. but look at what y'all doing. Right. You are making your own bag. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's a bonus if you got yeah. a nigga that's yeah. contributing, right. but Ooh, you making your own sure bag, you good first. which you can't beat. That's yep. priceless. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. And, I, and, and I wanna... you'll be surprised by the type of men you attract. So we always say that you, you attract better men Ooh. when you getting your own money right. than ones who are yep. coming say, at you. Because say you, it again. Say it again. Because, again. because again. I mean, honestly, you're kind of like prey yeah. before yeah. you get yeah. your own money yeah. because yeah. niggas yep. know, like, yep. she need yep. me, so yep. she gonna yep. put up with yep. whatever yep. because yep. she need what I'm doing because she need what I'm providing. But when it's a woman who they know you could provide for yourself, they gonna handle you a a little different. I'm not gonna lie. Now niggas gonna be not niggas. Not too different. They still gonna be niggas. <laughs> but I cannot even but. lie. I feel like since I've came into my own mm -hmm. and got my confidence mm -hmm. and making my own bag, mm -hmm. I have been attracting some like Amazing. Better, yeah, yeah, better, yeah, guys. better candidate. Because mm -hmm. the Atlanta, the Atlanta mm -hmm. crowd, I had to go. Oh, terrible. Oh no, I don't date in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. How is Dallas? How is dating in Dallas? I don't date right now, but it's. I mean, I will say the bag is different in Dallas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, like, I've seen Kelly's, Birkins, like, I've seen Ferraris <laughs> pulling up to my, like, local coffee shop. Like, yeah. local coffee. Like, I love like, a cappuccino, <laughs> boo. No, 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 no. And let me say something. The white daddies out there, and I've never dated a white man. Okay. They Look, fine. that's my really forte now. You know. Oh, okay, really well, should. hey, hey. Don't link count me. them out. Link Don't me. count them out. Link me. You really, y'all really need to. Look, Drea said this is my last relationship with a, uh, with a. But listen. I did say this is my last Negro relationship. <laughs> Why? Let me ask I a question. Feel, I, let me ask you. a question. Why do you black women feel you need to stay within your race? There are, I don't know, but I'm I mean, telling you what. This your last I'm one. I'm stepping right. out after this. If this don't it. work, I'm done. Right. I don't. <sighs> you don't know until you try. I know. I know, but I'm not. I mean. It depends on the man, like, you know, yeah. like, if I'm attracted. But, like, I'm really attracted to... I have a, I have a type. I definitely... Yeah. I definitely have a type. I feel like yeah. everybody... What's your type? Be... Okay, let me choose my words. <laughs> 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 Bro, give out my whole shit. I was about to give out weight, height. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, no, 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 no. Well, no, there is a height requirement. But Ooh. I like chocolate. Okay. Same I definitely girl. don't like no light skin. <laughs> I like chocolate guys too. I don't, and I love men with hair, with like Ooh. locks, like just braids. Mm -hmm. I love a man with hair. With that hair. Really, yeah, and then he gotta have. I don't like no dad, but <laughs> not <laughs> weak. Wait, 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 sit down. Sit down, <laughs> nephew. <laughs> Mark, you can't handle all this thickness. Ooh, I'm just sit down. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll wear you out. But yeah, that's that's a uh, yeah. I like I like I like. I like Bill. Yeah. Bill. I need you to scoop me, please. Yeah. Scoop me. me. I feel mm -hmm. like because, like I said, I went to an all-white school growing up, so my everything first was, you know, I dated mm -hmm. white guys first. Mm -hmm. Those Girl, first really? Good for you? Love, yeah, okay. Everything. A so, white boy? So yeah, it's not that right. bad, right? It's not that bad. Yeah, you know, it's See? not white. See? See? It's fucking with said. the white. <laughs> I think for me, like the experience I had, and like, uh, and this is just my personal. I already know, bro. Get yeah. angry. Yeah. I think for me, like that, just that I want a black home. I want a black experience me for my children. Me I know too. me growing up. Me too. I had a That's lot of confusion good. Good. because I grew up around a lot of white people, yeah, so I was just good. like, oh my god, I want my hair to look like this. Oh my yeah. god, I want to do this. I want to do that. Why can't my hair do this? Right. Why can't I? Yeah. So I you went a, through that. I went yeah. through an identity yeah. crisis for real. And, and yeah. thank God for me, I had a black mother. 
mother who poured into me and let mm -hmm. me know, like, you're beautiful, your hair is fine, mm -hmm. you look good. Because mm -hmm. I, I can only imagine if I have a son, mm -hmm. and oh not God. saying that white men can't do this or, you know, mm -hmm. a Hispanic man or whatever, right. but if my black son is coming home and he's having problems, I just want a black father man, to be yeah. able to talk to that's, me. That's mm -hmm. good. That's, that's just fair. my, that's, that's fair. my I mean, personal. That's what I feel about yeah. why I want to date a black man. I yeah. mean, you know who else got some fine men? Them little Middle Eastern men. Them little. That's where Drea like, says she going. They be fine, and I go. <laughs> and they go. Listen, I'm saying try. Just they got some that's darker than me. Yeah. yeah, I feel like everything needs. You can try. You know, yeah, just try it. They yeah. be fine. Okay, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What's the white peen like? Cause. Uh, like, you know, is I'm it not, good? you know what's is crazy? Like, I feel like I was so young okay, then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the sex I was having then is definitely not the sex <laughs> I'm having now. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be like this. Cause the sex so? I'm getting now. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like that. I'll be home soon, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a date with a white man one time and yeah, I said I would never it. do it again. Yeah. But I'm just losing faith in my brothers. I'm, I'm scared mm -hmm. of the white. I, like, it, like, does it look like raw chicken? Like, <laughs> not raw chicken. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. It, what That's gonna scare me. Yeah. Um, I really, I mean, I feel like <laughs> no, because he had like dark hair, dark eyes. He had dark features. Like he was like tan. Oh, okay. He oh, wasn't, wasn't, so he wasn't no, a, it wasn't like pink. He bitch. wasn't like Aryan race. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not Aryan. Like, but I will that. say, like my first love, he was amazing. He's super sweet. Mm -hmm. We still are actually friends. Like okay. we still follow each other. So that's why I said, like, if something happened, like people always be like, oh, could you date your first? Do you think you show like, people your yeah. picture and be like, this is my black ex girlfriend? Probably, because I'm that girl. <laughs> I was about to say, probably like, yeah, I used to fuck with her. But yeah. I'm not, and then he had a little flavor. He was okay. giving like Paul Wall. Yeah. Oh, really? oh, I mean, yeah. Who never like told that? me that? Bro, he used to have rim. Anybody that's watching that's from LCM, y'all know Steve used to have the rims on that's his car. He had the lights under his car, bitch. He was, so he wasn't really he woke, though. He had the pop trunk. Bad, bad. Hey. Hey. He used to be banging when he came and picked me up. I used to be like, yeah, Buki. Did he have a bottom girl? <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. But yeah, So he, he was not giving Paul Wall. Well, you know, he was young, Buki. <laughs> How old was you when you was dating him? Oh, like 15, I was like, 16? yeah, like 15, okay, 16, okay, okay. 17, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was like my first yeah. long time ago. It was a long time ago. That's long time ago. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And guess what? It's time. Period. It's time for the tour. Mm. And our first stop is Los Angeles, California. We ain't never had a show in LA. We've never been to LA. Y'all been asking, so we're there. June 17th at the Regent Theater. Listen, doors open at 7. When I tell y'all get there at 7 p.m., Please get there at 7 p.m. because we starting at 8 o'clock on the dot and it's going down. And it's going to be a crazy show. We need all the Cali vibes. I can't wait. Oh, we got some Cali vibes coming. Y'all know we're going to have some special guests pull up. So one thing about a Poor Mind show, you're going to have the time of your life. So if you went to the tour last year and you had fun, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. June 17th, Regent Theater. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Be there. So get your tickets at Poor Minds. Dot com. LA, we're gonna see y'all soon. Period. What's up, world? Your man Carlos Miller. Magico Bean. You know what's happening? And we got a special announcement, man. We got something special coming, but instead of us telling you when it's coming, we're gonna let them tell you. Who we got coming? We got a Netflix special. 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 That's right. June the 20th, 85 South Show. Live. On Netflix. You and your neighbor, man. Word. So you can watch us on the studio. switch up gears Come a little on. bit real mm -hmm. quick before we get into the next topic okay. because you are actually a real doctor real yes. real one 
Real one. The greed. Because real you know what I've been seeing a lot lately on Instagram? The at-home procedures. People getting you... the braces at home. Oh. People the, doing veneers. The, the veneers. The veneers They be going to take a class. The cameras on oh, me, y'all. Please yeah, don't do that. Because Carlos had to tell me. Okay, let me, let me just take a drink. No, but I Please actually ran into a lady. This was like last year. I had went to this bar. Uh -huh. And she was like showing me. She was asking me about my teeth. And I was like, oh, yeah, I went to Columbia. Mm -hmm. And I got my teeth done. Those look great, though. Thank yeah, you. But I got porcelain great. veneers, too. Right, yeah, okay. So she was like, oh, yeah. She was like, girl, you should have came to me. I just took a class, and I'm doing composite veneers. And I said, boo-boo. Class? Uh, right. Composite and resin girl. is not the same as course. I don't give a fuck. Class? class. But, then a cla class. but then also a class that you took, and now you doing them at your apartment? No, thank you. Well, let me ask a question. Them, them type of people, like, you know you got to get numbed up. You got to give anesthesia. Mm -hmm. So Even for the composite? Yeah, I mean, if, 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 you're doing it, if you're doing it properly. Okay. Right. So my question is, them type of motherfuckers, you know, how are they numbing you up? Mm-hmm. Because, see, you can hit or the wrong... Or you Are you <laughs> no, serious? I'm just saying, but you can hit the wrong artery, the wrong vein, and right. get fucked up for real. I mean... No, for no, real. Like, so my question is, they really need to have them people arrested mm. because the people Send who are... Send them to jail. And, and, and this is real talk. You know, you go to Columbia... You save, you know, because somebody told me you can get like 10 on 10 for like $5,000. Okay. But when yeah. they pop off, you no got to go back. You got to go back. No dentist in America Don't is going to touch them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my thing is spend the money on somebody and not saying they don't have proper training over there. Oh, yeah. But the standards are a little high in the yeah, state. Yeah, that's true. Okay. The, the, the bar is set a little higher in mm -hmm. the state. Can you tell so, them about, like, the, the, like the governing authorities, like, in dentistry? Yeah, like, like, like they got the know? Georgia board, which, <clears throat> yeah. is, which is like the watchdog. Mm -hmm. So you can't fuck nobody up, you yeah. know, over here without consequences. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over there, once you get over there, they take your money, do your shit. If you That's it. Up, you you yeah. just SOL. Mm -hmm. I've had people come to me and say, Doc, can you put these these uh, veneers back on? I said, fuck no. You know, let me let me call Delta for you. Because you, <laughs> I mean, because your ass on. you have licensed dentists, and again, this is not taking no shine no, from yeah. them over there. Right, right, but, right. But it's like going to the doctor, like you you live in the States, but you go into a family practitioner over in Bolivia. Mm -hmm. But see, I was real big on, like, I was very particular about who I wanted to do my teeth when mm -hmm. I decided to get my teeth done. And my doctor, he actually, I think he has certification here and in Columbia. Okay. Mm -hmm. but okay. That's respectable. No, so why yeah. did you go over there? Because they offered me a deal because I have a lot of followers. See, <laughs> so they gave me a discount. So I think normally he charged like nine, crazy. and he uh -huh. had gave me like a good deal. Like I, I think I had paid like seven. Okay. In exchange, okay. like you know, thousand off. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I mean, I'm but he's. I'm not gonna lie though, y'all. My, if you gonna go out the country to get your teeth done, right. I always recommend people go to my doctor because he's also not going to do veneers on you if you need like a root canal or if yeah, you need exactly. if you need a filling or if you exactly. need any of those things, exactly. he gonna send you back to the states because exactly. he gonna be like, you need to get your teeth underneath. Right? I'm not about to put something over your teeth if your natural he teeth can. are not but, right. But but why you got to go over there when somebody over here can tell you the same thing, girl? Because I didn't want to pay thirty thousand. Housing. That's why. So yeah, talk about the prices <laughs> here though, because that's I just didn't you know the okay. prices I, here. I didn't want to pay that. Like like dentistry like my crowns are, and, and and dentistry is expensive because you're paying for um, experience. Yeah, you're paying lab work, right. and it's yeah. very um, it's it's an, it's it's very artistic, mm -hmm. and it's very like skill. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like when you get like a like like a like a bag. You, you're paying for craftsmanship. Yes. Mm, and the yes. same thing is in dentistry. Yeah. You know, so it is expensive, but I'm a proponent of, am I worth it? Right. Yeah. And if something happens, can I get it fixed quickly mm -hmm. and properly? That's true. Okay, so let me ask well, you this, though, mm -hmm. because I have a friend. She went to the DR and got her teeth mm -hmm, done, mm -hmm, and she mm -hmm. chipped it. Mm -hmm. And she actually found a now, doctor out here. that's a whole here. different story. I might go, well, go to Columbia. See what the... What yeah, she went and got her to the DR, <laughs> but, but she uh, found a doctor here <laughs> that fixed, fixed it. it. Yeah. So talk about that. Like, can she? Can the doctor get in trouble? Is that a bad idea? Um, it's really, It's really not the best idea because... 
you didn't do the work. Okay. Mm. So so if if you're fixing work somebody else did and it go wrong, then you own that. Then property. they can blame you. Then they can wow. blame you, mm. even though it may not be your fault, mm. which would have been the first mm. doctor. Right. 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 So I don't like to go behind people. Okay. You see? But um, we in the Georgia board, we got to stay credential. Like if you're like like having certain specialties, you got to stay on top of that with with, with classes and to certification. Me every year, you every have to. Year, every year. And we don't know what their standard is. Yeah. You just got lucky. Right. Yeah. But we know what the standard is here in the states. And I will also say this too, because I think I've said this before. Mm -hmm. I when it got my teeth done in another country, mm -hmm. understanding that, like, if something was to happen, yeah, I have yeah. to go back there. Right. But I also okay. feel like I can af afford right. to go right. back right. there. She gonna right. pay for her nigga, gonna pay for it anyway. She right. going back. <laughs> right. It's like, if my tooth was to get chipped today, uh -huh. I would go to Columbia right. this weekend right. and right. go get it fixed. Right. So it's like, I think that you have to understand all of that stuff, too, when right. you decide to get that stuff yeah. done. But because you know what? Be with, any, with any decision yeah. you make, whether you it be anything you do, you, you need to have education. Yeah, you need to but, know but the pros you're, and the cons. You're fortunate you that you can mm -hmm. afford to go back. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, There's right? There's babies out here Spend that's going to go to somebody's garage yeah. Spend yeah. to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a no-no. Mm -hmm. You should not do that. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. But I feel like that's why people do it, though, because they like, mm -hmm. okay, well, I can't afford to get my teeth done here the right way, and I can't afford to go to Columbia and pay seven, eight thousand right. right. dollars right. to get you it know. done. So I'm gonna just get it done in so and so right. garage. Right. They just right. took a class and they certified. Right. I got a question. Why don't people just get braces or invisible? Like my my mom is big on just like saving your teeth. Yeah. yeah. Because you can, and mm -hmm. like you, all it takes is just straighten them out and then get some whitening, and you look yeah. it look the same. And it's your I'm not gonna lie, that's what we were talking about before because Girl. I said I'm back and forth mm -hmm. if I want veneers mm -hmm. or if I want Invisalign or yeah. like braces mm -hmm. because I like brace. my teeth. I do like yeah. my teeth, but yeah. they yeah. can do a little, little straightening, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But mm -hmm. that's why I've just like waited so long because I don't know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So but, talk about that, like the difference between like Invisalign, mm -hmm. the braces, mm -hmm. the and veneers. veneers. So, so most people, let me start with most people want it right then and there. Yeah. That's so that's most true. people, they point. want that perfect look Right then and there. Yeah. So that's why they don't do braces. Okay? okay. I'm a fan, like I told you, of traditional ortho because orthodontists are trained yeah. to move teeth and bone a certain way. Mm -hmm. Come on. With, with, with Invisalign, you may be over moving it or under moving it, which will minimize or maximize mm -hmm. the look that you want. Right. Because mm -hmm. you want a certain look. Mm -hmm. right. So you don't want to overshoot. You don't want to undershoot. Mm -hmm. But with the orthodontist, they are tracking the movement of teeth and bone. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Invisalign, I ain't a fan of because they don't really track it like that. Mm -hmm. They have braces where you can't even tell you got braces on. Okay. The ones okay. that go like behind the teeth? You can't tell. Okay. So, so... Teeth are moving, but you don't know. And you have a specialist that's tracking that movement. Yeah. So I'm a fan of traditional. So with veneers, there are some veneers where you don't have to prep, which is alter or shave the teeth. I am not a proponent of shaving natural, healthy teeth. Mm -hmm. If you got like fucked up teeth, teeth. Oh you, you know... You take them holes out, get, bitch. Just pull them out. Get some new ones, bitch. Let's get you a try again. Yeah, like, we just gonna get you some you crown boo need to try again. Yeah. So, try again, yeah. boogie. Yeah. That's just so Some people do not try again, get Dr. Mayo, motherfucker, but you right, because I done seen some shit. Oh, my God. And then they be going over there, and then they put them over them. I know, I'm... Yeah, and some some people just need to just, like... But anyway, Some people need to brush their teeth. Because yeah. in the past let's few start. days, I have seen let's visible start. plaque, and I'm just yeah. like, let's, let's how start. do you yeah. guys not see that? No, like, people how don't do you be not flossing. know your they breath be They don't be brushing. And your yeah. breath is foul. How and my thing with veneers, too, is like, if you already don't take care of the teeth that yes. the Lord exactly. gave you. Exactly. Preach, preach the Lord exactly. wasn't exactly. talking to them. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. He don't talk to them. If he you don't are already not taking care of the teeth right. that God right. gave right. you, right. Right. what makes you think right. that you're right. going to take care of these new right. teeth? Right. Come on. And, and the thing is, with, with veneers, you can do no prep, you can do minimal prep, or you can do aggressive prep. Mm -hmm. okay. It depends on the alignment of your teeth. But the bottom line is, consult a professional. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. And consult somebody who's cool, who's going to keep it real yeah, and not get honest. your bag. Right. Yeah. And let me ask you one yeah. more question yeah. about the teeth. So yeah. what happens when people be getting them horse teeth, the chicklets? Oh, my God. <laughs> what be oh going on God. with that? And then you know oh how sometimes God. they have the gray around? They don't oh shave God. them. That's no, what right. be happening. Like, the teeth, right? right they right. be fucked right. up. Right. Right. And then they right. be putting that shit be on top the teeth. of it, on top of the natural teeth. So exactly when people right. have horse teeth, right. that's because they have fucked up teeth. They got fucked up teeth, and, and they didn't get the teeth altered. Mm -hmm. God, because mm -hmm. if you make the natural tooth smaller, then the actual veneer will be more cosmetic. Right. Okay. Very good, niece. Thank okay. you. Yeah, you look good. And see, I had braces before beauty. too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. But I yeah. just, I don't know. I got, I had braces from like, mm -hmm. I think 19 to mm -hmm. 24. Mm -hmm. And my teeth, the funny thing is my natural teeth looked very much like this. Yeah. Like when I went to my doctor, I was very intentional. I was like, I want my veneers to look as close to Yours, my natural. So why did you get veneers? Because I, I was tired of getting my teeth whitened. And honestly, I had lost my retainer. And then when I wouldn't wear it for a long period of time, my gap would come back. So you know now you are locked into that shit for the rest of your life. But I ain't tripping. They said I can. Okay. No I mean, they said, I'm just saying. They said that <laughs> I can. They said that my teeth should last like seven to ten years. So I'm like, I could deal with that. I could deal with getting them redone okay. every okay. ten years. Okay. I could do that. Okay. But by the end, I ain't gonna lie. I probably ain't gonna go back to Columbia because you know, hopefully in ten years I'll be way more rich and I'll just pay the fifty thousand. <laughs> Here in the state. You I gonna have somebody see for you. <laughs> I'm gonna come see you. All right, so now we gonna get into the big. Hey, the big. Bow, 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 bow. bow. Hey. I didn't even look, I didn't even know the song I just got. Mm, yeah, the song is. It's real catchy. <laughs> so today for the bed topic, we, gonna, we wanna talk about men who be pressed for pussy. Oh, yeah. and y'all chose the right topic today. Yeah. I, got, I got something to say. Because I want to know y'all's first thoughts. When you meet a man, you feel like he cool or whatever, and then you really get to talking to him, you realize he pressed for the pussy. What is your first thought when you meet a man and you realize he's pressed for sex? All right, so so I, I'm going to give you the OG history and shit. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of past that stage, so my role in this shit is to put y'all <laughs> motherfuckers on game, you know, like OG Please West do. Game. Yeah. So when you, and I'm just going to be honest. Ma, um, why are you so icy? I didn't even know. That's what I was icy. about to say. I, did, I, did, I was wondering why I wasn't hot over like, here. What? No, I'm it's just real cool. Me, what you talking about? It's real cool. And you got on the but I'm just okay. Look, 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 so I just seen it peeping through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The question I'm sorry, is, when you meet a man that's pressed for pussy, what's your first thought? And you said you're gonna put us on game uh, about it. Go to hell. Because first thought, when literally. men be pressed, okay, what my, should we know? My first thought: if he pressing you for some pussy, you get the bag. Hmm. That's some OG. You get the bag. Cause first of all. So he run it up on his ass. And this why it this my auntie. Run, run it up because, <laughs> Make first of pay. all, he ain't respecting you as yeah. a, a queen. Because mm -hmm. a man who respecting you as a queen ain't going to pull up on you like that. Mm -hmm. Right. He, he going to hold off on trying to get the pussy. Facts. He going to be patient. He, he going to be patient. And, and, and he's going to respect that sacred time when y'all do get together. Oh, so sacred. my shit is like, he trying to push up on you, get the fucking money. Mm -hmm. Get what you can out of them. I mean, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of pushback for IG. Fuck you, motherfucker. No, everybody, everybody <laughs> don't but, do no, that because, because, no, because no, because I always get, get no pushed back, back. With keeping it 100. But if he pressing you, press his ass right back. But yeah. I don't even think that's city girls' time because I feel like if you pressing me, then I'm gonna press you. That that's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because he ain't respecting you. Right. Why he you already know what he on. Well, you right. exactly. know, you know what he time it is. So we on that. Yeah. So we on that type of time. So that's that's my. That's your first thought. So okay. what's your first thought? My first thought when a nigga is pressed for pussy is like, you a lame. Because why you so yep. pressed? Nobody yep. wants to fuck you. Because yep. yep. I always and feel like when you meet a new nigga, yep. everybody fucking somebody. I'm yep. still fucking my ex. Right. Because I don't want to <laughs> fuck you yet, but I'm done with that nigga. I'm just trying to move on. Right. So you so pressed for my pussy, like nobody is fucking you. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> why? Okay. You ain't even getting your little dick suck a little bit. Why? <laughs> a little bit. So what you be thinking, sis? What you be thinking? Honestly, I, I haven't really been outside dating niggas for a while, but I'll say for me, it's like 
like you said, you're lame. Yeah. Or like you, I don't like a man that doesn't have sexual discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yes. huge. That's okay, sexy. I like that. That's I like sexy. a man who yep. has sexual mm -hmm. discipline. Like, I like a man that will tell me no, because that's yep. going to make me look you yep. hard. Yep. Right? Yep. You tell me yep. no, yep. baby. I'm going to be like, yep. take them pants off, daddy. <laughs> Come on, daddy. I'm trying to say something. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah. for real, it's like, uh, yeah, all that rah, rah, like, ooh, yeah. I'm trying to, or, or, Oh my God, this was like when I was younger. They'd be like, oh yeah, like, so what's this looking like? What's this looking like? I'm like, send me a picture. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm a lady. Hey, like, I'm gonna clutch my church pearls. Right. Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah, no, I like yeah. that. Because I feel yeah. like a man who has sexual yeah. discipline, yep. it says a lot about his character. Exactly. Yeah, he cares exactly. about who, because he probably exactly. really like, no, let me get to know you first. Exactly. Because we're exchanging energy. Right. So exactly. it's very rare. Oh, and and, and, and that's sexy. Ooh, that's that's yeah. intimate. For a man to get inside your head mm. and your soul and before, your soul. He, get in before your he get in your pants. Lord, Amen. Amen. Like, you feel me? How, how sexy is that? I be thinking they got an STD they trying to give away. <laughs> 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 they probably are. Because why do you want to fuck that? We do it down together, yep, bitch. Yep. I just, it makes yep. me uneasy. It's yep. like, why are yep. you so pressed? Because kind of yep. like what Lex said, you mean to tell me nobody fucking yep. you? Yep. You yep. not getting no pussy from suspicious. nowhere? Like, why are you so pressed for mine? It's right. very suspicious. suspicious. Yep. I be like, what yep. you got on it's you? Suspicious. That's why you get the bag. I don't want it. You get yeah. the bag. And I don't, I don't, I don't you get what, the bag. what you mean? Yep. Oh, like the literal you bag? Shit, fuck like, yeah. Oh, okay. And don't, you get the that bag because you can get the No, 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 no. Let me tell you. This, first of all, provision is a non-negotiable at this point. At twenty-five. I'm not going back and forth. Because as a mm -hmm. woman, mm -hmm. we have to work so yeah, hard to make money. Yeah. Yes. We have to work so and hard. And as a black woman, mm -hmm. we don't get to be mediocre. Girl. We so have to go you above be top Say tier. It. The time we put mediocre into it people, it's a lot of people of other yeah. races that get to be yeah. mediocre. Yeah. Yeah. Mediocre. But not black girls. Not we right. got to be You're above right. and yeah. mediocre. Right. And the You're time right. we put in, so if I'm putting in overtime, I don't have time to just sit around, excuse me, and just get to know you and talk, 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 talk. Some bitches got time. Have the time, no baby. time for the shit. So right, if you go, right. if you gonna make me step away from this bag, mm -hmm. you gonna be putting some right. in it. I That's want fifteen k right. at the That's first right. of each month. That's I right. want to counter. Right. Hello. Please, thank you. Hello. Hello. And, right. and people be like, oh, well, that's high standards, and I'm like. Mm -mm. They got it. No. If people get it. on my ass. How many, ever it. since we started this show, people what have it? always said that I have, like, unrealistic standards. Yeah, and I say... Cr well, no, 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 unrealistic to you. What you mean by well, that? Unrealistic. Look. Let me tell you something. Number one, <laughs> say I, don't, I you. never give a fuck. And I still stand on the same shit that I've been standing on. It, it's a little different now because I will say right. I don't put as much emphasis uh -huh. on how much money a nigga got no more uh -huh. just because I'm getting my own. Right, money. right, right. I right. feel like that was coming from a place of like, well, I ain't got it, so I got to make sure right, he right, got it. Right, 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 Which right. he's still going to have it. I'm still right. not going to fuck exactly. with a nigga that don't right, got right, it. Right, right. Right. But at the end of the day, I don't know. I just feel like people used to always be like, she always be saying she got a, she only gonna fuck with we a nigga who got care. a bag. We don't yes, care. absolutely. Why, not? Why, not? Why would I fuck with somebody who don't got no money? Right. But, it just but, don't but make sense to me. And I know you can do. Yeah. I know you can do whatever I'm asking. You want my time. Right. You want exactly. eventually you gonna want my pussy. Exactly. Why wow. you can't contribute to what I'm trying to build, especially yeah, exactly. if you a man who on your shit and you successful, you got it. You but, should but want a woman that my makes thing money. Is this and more money for and you. And you wanna put more money in my pocket. But Thank when you, you real and, and hear me Thank carefully, where that microphone at? When you when you when you, <laughs> when you know your self worth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I and when that's, you know that's who you point. are. Yeah. Like she had Louis Vuitton at two years old mm -hmm. because I wanted her to know her value. Mm -hmm. And not that it was just like material shit. Right. But I want like like you're worth it. You yeah. all are worth it. Yeah. yeah. So if a man can't contribute to your worthiness as a mm -hmm. black queen, yeah. right. what are they doing? What are you doing? And what I'm do glad you need them for? That because it, it's not about materialistic it's things not about for me. Because yeah. I feel like right. I just want to feel like you're going above and beyond and you're doing the most right. to make right. me happy. Right. right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So right. Right. thank God I'm in the position right. to where, mm -hmm. you know, I can buy myself extravagant right. things and right. that makes me right. feel good. I right. can go on right. extravagant right. vacations right. and right. I love to travel. Right. And I always say this, for me, I would rather a trip than a bag. I like yep. experiences. Me too. Yeah. So just because you were dating this girl and she mm -hmm. wants a Birkin, she, I don't mm -hmm. want that. Mm -hmm. Take right. me on a trip. 
trip. Take mm-hmm. me on a trip. We should go on a trip, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we should, should. go on a trip. A, a good a little trip. trip. And that's I why I need a little trip. And that's why I need to do a podcast. I'm like, y'all need to do a trip. Y'all make it. I love it. No, seriously. Like, y'all need to do a part of my retreat. I tell you what. I'll help y'all plan. We should do a retreat. Y'all, that'd be lit. Where are we going? Oh, you guys talk to the mic. Let the girls know. We're going to Ibiza. Ooh. I've been saying I want to go to Ibiza Let's go to Ibiza. Okay. If y'all want to go. No, seriously. No, I'm Ibiza is the shit. Really? I want y'all to go. Oh. Who told you to go okay, to Ibiza? Wait, 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 wait. Ibiza. Who told and, you to go? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ibiza I got, told her to go okay, to Ibiza. Wait, wait, wait. Ibiza got wealthy Europeans. Period. Abi- like princes and I shit. No, 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 no. Seriously, no. Like if, girl, I'll be no. watching his I'll be watching his show. Now, I don't want to run into no Prince Charles. No. 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 But what, what's I'm saying. Why would you find a boy on a Ibiza. Ibiza. Ibiza has nightlife like yeah. Nightlife. Okay. Yeah, they got so I want y'all to Google it jumping. and make sure we get your number. But Auntie will plan a trip to Ibiza. I we love my outside. Auntie. Come on, I mean, auntie, I, mean yes, that, no. I mean that shit for real. No, yeah. no don't play with me. Cause I'm I, not playing. And that's why I said I, I don't want to go with me. We outside. Yeah. We outside in the visa. And that's why Ibiza. I feel like, like going back to what you said, I Let's just go. feel like you need to study your woman. Yep. Not every yep. woman is gonna yep. require, you Wait, know, like 15 cash a month, this and that. If study you, your woman. Study know your the woman. woman that you yep. want. So y'all oh sit on these platforms to be mad yeah. because yep. she wants this, she wants that. Yep. Guess yep. what? Yep. If you're a guy and that wants somebody who doesn't want as much, there's a True. woman out there for you that's right. going to love you to right. death. Right. Exactly. It ain't Just me. Just pay attention. Right. It may not be right. It ain't right. me, baby. Right. Sorry. But pay attention. Pay <laughs> it's okay to date. Date people who like you. Yeah. That's how no, I feel. That's the best dating advice. Date somebody that actually likes somebody you. Date somebody who likes you. Date is, somebody who yeah. wants the same wants as you want. Mm-hmm. Stop Good telling advice. people that they're stupid for their standards. Good advice. You know what Very I'm saying? Great. That's date, wisdom. I like to date men. Now I realize, I was like, damn, you know what I realized? I had I was dating a guy who would buy me everything. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is cool, but it's like, I want to go somewhere. I want to do something. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start paying attention to the guys who travel, the guys mm-hmm. who like yeah. to be outside, yeah, the so guys who like small. different days. And I'm like, you. and I've been having a ball. That's <laughs> yeah. your shit. You know what I'm saying? You're young and turned. I you feel should. like you got to date. Yeah. You definitely yeah. got to date guys who yeah. are into the same things yeah. that right. you're in. Right. But that Absolutely. goes into your love language and stuff, too. Like, date people who care about your love language. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going to get into the bop. Hey, the bop. Mm-hmm. Ow. The bop. Bow. 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 So the bop of the week for mm-hmm. me, okay. I, what I've been jamming this week, um, I hope I didn't make this my bop of the week already, y'all. I've been drinking. Um, it's a song by Go Go Morrow. It's called Don't Stop. So she sampled Aaliyah, Rock the Boat. Oh. And I'm a big Aaliyah fan. Now, I feel like sometimes the samples go overboard, but she sampled this perfectly. perfectly. It was that. like she wasn't trying to sound like Aaliyah. She wasn't doing too much. You know, it was a little one-two. It's an R&B vibe. I absolutely love it. Um, I got two bops of the week, actually. Um, Okay. Xavier Omar, um, y'all know I love Xavier Omar. I feel like he always has. He sing R&B. He's an R&B singer. Um, she listens to a lot of indie people. Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like an indie. Yeah, I'm an indie artist girl. They need yeah, support. They need yeah, support. yeah, they need support because I feel like everybody's talking about oh R&B is dead. I'm like it's not dead. Y'all oh, I just love not R&B. listening you to. You niggas just scared. You niggas just scared. That's all. Period. You know so um, so Xavier Omar just dropped a new song called Magic, and I want to talk about the message of this song because it's so fire because you know how people be like, oh, I want a love that's magical. I want this. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm not going to give you no love that's magical. I'm going to give you some love that's real. Because mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That Vinny Vinny Vici shit, that ain't real. Vinny, Vinny, I'm going to give you some real love. That Vinny Vinny Vici. You know what I'm saying? That hocus pocus, that ain't real. I'm, I'm, real. I'm not going to give you love that's magic. I'm going to give you love that's real. Come on. Mm-hmm. So that's like the message of the song. And I was like, okay, I never looked at it um, that way. We're so, supposed to give you a song that we like, that we listen yeah. to? Yeah. Yeah. So shit, yeah. Because she be in the clip. She listen- Listen, no, she listens to the same playlist every day. Girl, that's, that's me. I am. Sometimes. Every but real day. quick, but if you want to get into Xavier Omar, he has a song called Say It. Listen to Say It first so okay. you can kind of get I'm his vibe. Right now. Okay. Say it. Say it by Xavier Omar. That's like my favorite song by him. Okay. But um, yeah, what Dre, what you been listening to, Queen? Y'all are funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't remember. Same as you, I don't remember if, if this has been my bop already. I'm a little lit too. Um <laughs> Don't Fuck Me Up by LMI. Okay. I don't remember if that has oh, been my bop before. Okay. okay, I don't... But uh, that's about... I love 
hard. I love that song. It's so good. It's so hard. Especially when you really love a nigga. You be like, nigga, don't play with me. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> That's how you, you tell me up, I'm going to fuck you up. That's what you be telling your nigga? Hell yeah. I sent that song to him before. <gasps> Let them know, huh? So, I love and then, sending niggas songs, so I just, ooh, you know. Right, right, right. Right. You need to know what Real type quick. of time we on today. But playing. if I haven't, if I have used that song before, I also like, it's like an older song, Moving Mountains by Usher. Sid. I was like, I was like, Usher. Who was that? I was about Moving to say, Mountains. That's a bop. Now, that's a bop, too. Moving Mountains was he a He don't hit. know none of these folks. I don't folks. know none of these motherfuckers. I don't, I don't know them either. I'm yeah, well, I know you're like kind of an indie artist, too. Yeah, it's kind of an indie artist, too. Okay, but like, okay. I have been having that song in heavy rotation. Like, okay, I love the I love the beat. I love the vibe of the song. I Just fuck with Sid. I fuck with Sid. Okay. What you been listening to, Buki? I got two that came to mind. Okay. I've been listening to Whoa by Snow Allegra. Okay. Love Whoa. Snow. Love Snow. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> and Just How It Is by Young Thug. Free Thug. Okay. Free yeah, for real. Y'all, yeah, they gonna let my boy go. He ain't mean it. He ain't Please. mean it. <laughs> He ain't mean it. Go. Everybody to let bygones be bygones. Yeah. Yeah. You the hell on. You, you ain't, ain't your mama. mama. Period. Not y'all. <laughs> not y'all yet. Not y'all. <laughs> I love the. They didn't let him out. Atlanta ain't been right since. It ain't been right since. And it ain't gonna be right. They didn't let him out. They need to let my boy. <laughs> Bitches is off the chain. I'm going to take y'all home. I love y'all so much. I ain't lying. Okay, auntie. I, I don't know. Pass, because I, I be like yeah, fucking work. She don't listen. Night. She really don't listen to me. But she say you got a playlist you listen to. Listen to the, that you listen to. the same. Tell them the artist you listen to. Tell them. No, we want to hear Please it. Please tell them the artist. We want to know. I still want to know. Please tell them the artist. Mesa? No, 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 no. no. Who? Tell them about Pat. Mesa? Who? Pat. <laughs> Ah, Who's Pat? What, Pat Matheny? You say Pat Matheny? Okay, I listen to OGs like Pat Matheny, like white boys. Okay. Oh, Pat Matheny. Okay. You would think I thought you were about to say the Beach Boys. No. no. <laughs> My mom they was a him. white artist. I'm like, Pat Matheny and, and Sting from back in the day. Okay, Sting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and the That's police, yeah. Had. Please and don't say. Oh, I was thinking of, uh, what's that man name? <laughs> SOS? Phil, oh, Phil Collins. I was thinking of Phil Collins. I can feel it in Oh, that's the shit? What are you talking about? Look at coming in the you got it. So you got it. That was me. <laughs> and I, I can wait it for the moment for, for all my life. <laughs> oh Lord. See, See we that? Don't know that. Yeah, I was like, I no. She know the hit. Right? Don't be hating. <laughs> I know. Don't be hating. That damn <laughs> Pat Matheny gets on my damn. <laughs> I never yeah. heard of him. I'm about to listen to this in the car. No, please yeah, don't. You gonna turn it off immediately, girl? Sure. Is it rock? <laughs> Just listen to it. Just like to it. Rock. You're gonna, you're gonna turn it off. You gonna go right. rock and roll? Yeah. Okay. No, it's like jazz. Well, he the first person that came up. Mm -hmm. well, she Pat, know her. He put it in. Yep. Yeah, I put in Pat. He the first person Pat came Matheny, up. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised so Fat Pat didn't come up. <laughs> oh, he got some bundles. Fat too. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> he got some bundles. <laughs> yeah, he got some hair on him, baby. He got some hair on him. Okay. Fat so Pat not even on the lead. Damn, so Fat And that's fucked up. Y'all need to pay homage. He from Houston. He from it's Houston. It's a Houston legend. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gonna put y'all on later. Fat, Fat Pat. Pat. Okay. No, that motherfucker. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know Paul Wall and yeah, Paul was it Wall. Slim Thug? But he like the OG OB. Houston rapper yeah, from like way like, back in the day okay. when Screw first got started, like in the nineties. I like Screw. Yeah. I do like Screw. Yeah. You know, like is Fat Pat still alive? Girl, you from Houston? You supposed to know? I just know people from Orange if they alive or dead. Y'all don't got no rappers. Me, nigga. In Orange, Texas, <laughs> they got me, nigga. You see, nigga. I ain't I playing, saw my nigga. Pinky ring, nigga. Come on, give him a bar. <laughs> <laughs> new music dropping soon. <laughs> <laughs> See? We about to get in the stew. Poor minds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, that's like we gonna get to our favorite segment of the week, the Pour Your Heart oh Out segment. If you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. You, if you're a Patreon member, make sure you email oh, us. Y'all getting put, paid. Okay, purr. And put that you're a Patreon you know, in the subject line, and you get to skip. Y'all ready to give some advice? Come on. Yeah, Do y'all yeah. feel like y'all give good advice? 
Yes. What? They've been giving good advice what all, all, all about? day. I, I, I think, think that advice. they do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm just asking if they feel like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hope it ain't something that I laugh so at like, first. Girl, girl what you see on now? Okay, okay. Oh, no, we got them. We no, got they the already questions. sent them, so oh, we got them okay. printed out. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. That was so efficient. Okay. We ready. Question number one. Oh, Lord. Hey, ladies, before I get into my question, I just want to give a little background about myself. I'm 21, working three jobs, also going to school for a nail technician, no kids, single, own car and crib that I share with my sister. My question is, what advice do you have for a 21-year-old identity crisis? I feel mm. like I'm behind on my goals, mm. things I want to do and love life, especially with social media. Mm. I feel like I'm not where I need to be in life mm. right now, and it's caused me to be depressed, mm. strained, and hopeless. Please give me advice, mm. any advice that you have. Love y'all in the podcast. Aww. I'm going to check that motherfucker. Yeah, go ahead, auntie. All right, first of all, what, what am I looking at? One of them cameras right there? Look oh, at this. You is looking at two. That's my right cameras. cameras. What's that baby name? She ain't, we, we she do it on anonymous. anonymous. Right, we keep on Precious, anonymous. you know who you are. I'm going to give you my office number. 770. <laughs> nine, no, I mean, it's for real. 996 8772. I'm going to I got problems, <laughs> Auntie. No, because no, no, <laughs> you, you are not behind, and, and you really need to congratulate yourself. Okay. You 21. You working three motherfucking jobs. There's right. like 80 year old, 70 year olds that ain't working one job. Mm. I got a cousin like that. Ooh. So so you you 21, mm -hmm. you working three On jobs. For 40 you years. in school, mm -hmm. you you own a house or a car, which 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 your family member. So you are well on your way. On your way. 21 you, is so young. No, 21, you yeah. are a baby. Baby. You still got like milk behind your ears. So <laughs> so give yourself some grace. Mm-hmm. Give yourself some grace, number one. Number two, find, like, a mentor that can mentor you into um, a higher goal. Because what I'm hearing from you is you got the hustle spirit yep, in you. Because you're yeah, working three definitely. jobs, you a nail tech. Yeah. It ain't meant for you to be no nail tech all your life. Mm -hmm. You need to own go a salon. And yeah. have other oh, people working. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so do it I want on the celebrities that fly you exactly. out and pay you handsomely for it. Mm -hmm. So call, call Auntie up, 770 996. Now, you know the other people about to Everybody call you. Everybody about to call you. It was me, Auntie. Well, I'm just saying, but okay. I'm going to be, I'm gonna no. be like, I'm going to say, Auntie. 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 No, you get the personal sex. 770 996 8772. I'm going to put you on game, but give yourself some grace. Yeah. I have one You're piece doing real of advice. Good. Yeah, tell one piece. Yeah. yeah. Take a like a fast from social media. Like delete it exactly. off of your That's phone. Because exactly. yep. 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 it's not it's real cap. life. It's, it's cap. cap. It's cap. It's cap. It's I'm cap. 25. I yep. feel behind, yep. and I have mm -hmm. to constantly tell yep. myself yep. like. You're exactly where God yep. needs you exactly. to be. Like, we are exactly. not running this show. Right. There's somebody else directing right. and pulling advice. the strings. Good advice. So everything you're going through is for a purpose and it's mm -hmm. for your higher calling. Right. So my number one advice is get off social media. Yep. Take, like, yep. a month. Yep. Seriously. Yep. Like, and, and really yep. discipline yourself. Yep. And when you feel like you're doing the comparison thing, yep. hop off. Because right. I do that all the I'll time. I'll, I'll go off for a yep. few days. Like, mm -hmm. And yeah. I tell people all it's the time, too, it's just good to fast from everything. Exactly. Come on. Yep. You need yep. to fast from social media. Yep. You need to fast from drinking sometimes. If you smoke, black. you need to fast yep. from smoking. Yep. Yep. You need to fast from... Overeating? A, yes. Yeah, you, over you need to literally be fast. fast. Exactly. Unbig right. your back. Exactly. Yeah. Y'all see that? Unbig your back. Yes. Unbig your back. Yep. It Seriously, back. it's good to fast from things, and then it also teaches you discipline, because it sh and it also Definitely. just shows you... Mm -hmm. People be thinking that they need these things to cope, and they right. need these things right. every day. It's really a mind thing. You mm -hmm. don't need mind shit but yourself and God. Come on. That's all you need. That's right. And I'll add my last little two cents. Mm -hmm. I say this all the time. Mm -hmm. I'll use myself as an, as an mm -hmm. example. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm 33. Mm -hmm. I just literally started mm -hmm. being able to be comfortable two years ago mm -hmm. when I was 31. Mm -hmm. When I was 30, I got fired from my job, mm -hmm. walked to Drea's house, mm -hmm. cried. She gave me a shot of Hennessy. Mm -hmm. And we was like, what the fuck we going to do, bitch? And we went to Jamaica. And we went to mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Good for you. I love that. And yeah. then when we came back, it was like we grind time. Yeah. So what I'm telling you is when I was 21, guess what I was mm -hmm. doing in college? Mm -hmm. Working two jobs. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what mm -hmm. the fuck I'm going, going mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. And shit did not click for me personally. Mm -hmm. Right. Until 
10 years later. Mm. 10 years. Yep. So your stuff may click in 5, yep. 3, yep. 10, 15. A few months, yep. you never know. Yep. You but never you know, know where I fucked up at, where I got behind? Comparison is the thing for joy. Compar I was comparing right. myself exactly. to this person. It really is. Exactly. No, seriously. It so really instead is. of looking down and focusing on my right. play, I right. got behind because right. I'm looking at what she right. doing. I'm looking right. at exactly. what he doing Why instead of... Why ain't got this, that, Good yes. Advice. When I stopped looking at other people's shit, and I was like, you know what? Let me focus on me. I'm going to do me. Shit That's started moving. Off. Shit started yep. and quickly. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Great, great advice, lady. That's no, good. Real. Yes. No, that is. Great advice. So, That's yeah. real. So I feel like yeah. I spent my 20s yep. looking yep. at other people and yep. feeling like I was behind. Mm -hmm. So stop looking at other people. And, and I just spent my time. 20s playing. Yeah, yeah. that's Luckily, yeah. poor minds started taking off Thank when God, I was... Thank God, bitch. Because I'm too here. I couldn't make, make no more Long Island, bitch. I couldn't make no more Long Island. And finally, the show started taking off. But like, I just was playing. Like, I was really... We going to Visa. Look, we got to go to Visa. If I had made one more blue mother fuck I said Lord Jesus I'm a loser we, we going to a busy yeah, y'all but that's anyway. the best advice I, I can really give is. anybody is yep. just stay focused and be serious yes. like people yep. think that your 20s is a time to play it's yeah. not and it's, it's balance about, it's about balance I mean it is about balance but it's like I used to really be out here winging it yeah. like by the, like Girl. I said by the grace of God by the time Every I was day. 29 day to day before minds had started taking off mm -hmm. but I was out here winging it in my 20s. I didn't mm. know what the fuck I wanted to do mm. for the mo for the most mm -hmm. portion of my 20s. Like, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. So I would just say, like, try to focus on you and find mm -hmm. yourself, exactly. too. That's really important. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to be out here. Because the thing about it, now I'm 32. 30 creep up fast. 40 gonna creep up fast. Yep. 50 gonna creep yep. up fast. Yep. 60 gonna creep up yep. fast. And before you know it, you're gonna be like, damn, I ain't did nothing. Mm -hmm. right. 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 So the fact right. that you're chasing your yeah. dream, which yeah. you already a step ahead you of are a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. No, really. The people that you're comparing yourself yep. to, they wish they knew their yep. passion. They, they wish. don't know. Yep. They don't know. They don't. I ain't really know don't. for a long time. Like I said, until 29, yep. I did not know what really. I wanted to and do. And she's 21 right. working three jobs. Right. And in school. And in school. Baby, pat yourself on the back. Go buy you a bag. Go, go, go treat something yourself. Oh, yeah. She gonna own something. So yeah. you on the right path, girl. Right path. You are, Steve. Question number two. Mm -hmm. Hey, ladies. I'm a 24-year-old single mother of two from Vegas. Wow. So I'm gonna just get God right into you. it. Mm -hmm. This girl I used to call sister in high school. We were mm -hmm. super close. I'm well, I... dating her baby daddy now. <laughs> she doesn't know yet. Mm -hmm. Nobody really knows because, one, both it's me and him yet. are not on social media Two, we don't know how to tell her because we really, really do like each other and it's getting serious really fast. They are not together and she's been in another relationship for some years now and had another baby. Me and her haven't been close friends since high school. I never knew he always liked me, but now I really like him and I feel like he sees me. He's so appreciative, caring, and encouraging. Truly the opposite of all the toxic and heartbreak I went through last year. Toxic relationships and heartbreaks I went through mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. I need some help. We really don't know how to tell her, and we're going to have to eventually. Mm. Mm. That sounds messy to me. You don't um, owe her shit. Yeah. Well, I'll say this. She's 24. You've been out of uh -huh. high school for uh -huh. six years. Y'all yeah. haven't been close since high school. I uh -huh. feel like if y'all feel like this is real, it's just why a conversation. You, yeah, I mean, it's but, been but, six years. But we don't why talk. do you have to tell them anyway? I mean, whose business is it? I mean, why well, do you feel The obligated? reason I say that uh -huh. she does because it's her baby daddy, so they have a child together. Uh, so she's oh. probably going to be around the child. Oh, okay. So well, therefore, oh, okay. yeah. I I, if you're gonna be I around my child, the yeah. part about okay. the child, okay. It's her close, too. her old too. close friend's baby daddy. Oh. Okay. So yeah, they got it's got a. Ooh. If she, if the the baby mother, not like the girlfriend now, but the baby mother. If she's not mature enough to handle that conversation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things can get ugly. Mm -hmm. Things are go it's not can get probably going. It's going to get ugly. You know, mm -hmm. bitches be. They, yeah. She said that she's moved on. She's had another baby. That don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That don't mean yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mean nothing. Nope. No, I was going to call So, what do y'all think she should do? Oh, that's a good. Um, Y'all need to do family mediation at that point, cause that just <laughs> they need to go. They need therapy. They need therapy for that yeah, one. But, I but, say, but black people ain't doing no therapy, especially at that age. So um, <laughs> I agree, cause twenty four yeah, hours you, definitely you not. ain't doing no fucking yeah. therapy. And shit. You gotta go through some shit. You gotta you know, go like, yeah. I need to go. To I need to go. Yeah. I need to see somebody. I hate to say this though, the kind of men I liked at twenty four is very different than the men I like in my thirties. So I know yeah. that you, but she's in a different phase in her life. She has she two has kids. kids. She's probably looking for something more. Yeah. Thanks. So I will say, I think that if this is a man that you see yourself with, y'all trying to start a family, just rip the Band-Aid off. 
Yeah, that's she how don't you fuck get, with her or not. Yeah, yeah. that's a good, no matter yeah. what happens. Yeah. That's yeah. real. Yeah. The that's longer, yeah. the longer yeah. you yeah. wait, yeah. the harder yeah. it's gonna yeah. be. Yeah. And the yeah. more mess, because yeah. it's like, bitch, you been yeah. having this after that. Y'all been together eight months. So, bitch, if it's if it's something fresh, do that, do that, do that, and just be done with it. Just be done with it. She doesn't say how long they've been talking. You know, stick to what you said. Like, if that's your nigga, like, stand beside him. If don't be faltering and trying to, oh, well, I was so sorry, so sorry. Like, you know, just be like, look, this is what it is. I hope you can see that, you know, and also explain to her, I went through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I was heartbroken, and, you this know... This seems real to me. You know, and I'm not trying to... Te- I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes. Mm-hmm. I'm just... You know how life goes, girl. Like, and it's just, nothing against you. I think you. one yeah. thing... And the, y'all, you can relate to her as a and mother. Pray. Be and Be like, pray. I have my own mm-hmm. children. I'm right, dealing with right, my exactly. baby father dating other women. Right, 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 I'm gonna right. love your child as they're right, my own. Right, That's right. good. Because you're a mother. I and love this. That should that situation. That's good. I'm a birth the baby. Baby, I'm gonna read her story, butter her up real good. But I feel like Yo. if it's in the beginning, y'all in the six months, eight yeah. month range, wait, do it, rip it off yeah, now, rip it off, yeah. rip it, rip it off, off yeah. now. Because and I, I need, need to wait. No, yeah, need, no, wait. no yeah. need to wait. Yeah. No need to wait. No need to wait. Mm-mm. Okay, so let the girls and the guys know where they can find y'all, where they can get their meals, <laughs> grills, and all that Tell good them stuff. About it. Tell them about the, what we do already. Okay, else. well, you know, we make custom luxury mm-hmm. grills. Mm-hmm. You know, we have Dr. Mel's making sure your teeth eligible because not everyone's teeth right. are eligible mm-hmm. for grills. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And oral hygiene is priority. But yes, you can find us on Instagram at mels.grills. That's M E L Z dot G R I L L Z. And the website is just melsgirls.co.com. Okay. okay. There you go. And what is your sign? I didn't mean to ask you. I'm really into signs. I mean, I'm trying really, to figure what out you what think it's giving me. What you think yeah, I Yeah, guess. Whoo. Take a wild is. guess, honey. Okay. I don't feel like you a water sign. I, she's giving me fire signs. I don't know which one it is, but somebody just 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 give it to me. Just tell me. Which I don't know nothing to. It. Are you a? I'll get. She's a spring baby. I'll give you that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's she is spring baby. Aries. Tell us. Are you mm-hmm. Aries? Pisces. Pisces. You are, you are water I'm a, I'm a, I'm a You Pisces. are water I'm a, I'm a I'm a gentle person until you fuck with me. No. And when but you, you know fuck what? with me, I'm a I'm a come after you. They're gonna you know split what? your throat. I was That's gonna Philly, say though. you was not giving me water sign, Why you but my that? but because water sign people are like very emotional, and you just oh oh, 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 oh she is she just used but they her, tend to be a little softer. Uh, she, no, uh, oh, yeah, she but used that hard as a, yeah. as a as a as a as a no, hideout. No, no, no. She's no. very emotional because I'll I'll say something. She'll be like, Are you willing? Like, no. uh, <laughs> That's why I said no, give no, a fire no, sign no. to me. No, I, 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 I thought you would have been. Like maybe a Leo, like no, no, uh, no. She oh, wasn't giving. I'm Leo. a giving loving person, giving Leo. but I will fuck you. Yeah. That's the that's the Philly though. That's yeah. straight. That's yeah. what I said. That fuck that sign. That's that yeah, West that's Philly. That West Philly. That's her sign. Look, West that's, Philly. That's, I know one right. thing. If I the see Leo, sign Leo and I'm the... running behind him. Who fuck? Who says something to our tape, bitch? <laughs> Fuck that. The fuck? Y'all ready to get into I karaoke? I can see Pisces. No, no, yes, girls. I'm going to plan that shit tonight. No, we yes, go. let's go. No, we going. Serious. No, we going to be the to create a group Look chat. Look it up. Google it. Oh, I know about it now. <laughs> okay, we about to oh, get into karaoke. We'll see y'all in a second. Ah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know who got the most fire merch in the game. 85 and poor minds, of course. Period. So y'all been asking about our rap tees that we had on tour for the longest. Our tour tees and the rap tees. They are both on the site right now available. Y'all go ahead, go to buypoorminds.com and get your t-shirts before they sell out. Yes, and also y'all know it's about to get cold outside and 85 just dropped some fire merch for the women. I'm Mm -hmm. telling you, they got that all brown fit, the all blue fit, the red. It's going super, super crazy. So make sure y'all go to 85 apparel.com and get you a fit. I'm telling y'all, it's super comfy. It's airport outfits. You know, a little sneaky link outfit. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need. And I'm telling y'all, they are not restocking this, okay? It's exclusive for this season. So make sure y'all Period. go to 85apparel.com, vipoorminds.com, and get y'all merch right now. Yes. 
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing vlogs. Mm -hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So, if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week. Well, this is your opportunity to see us twice a week. And also, you kind of get, you're going to get a look into our lives mm -hmm. and know what's on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash poor mind. Sign up today. There's different tiers. So if you want audio only, you can just listen. If you want video and audio, we have that too. And also, we have a top, top tier where you get exclusive access to merch, shows, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today. Period. All right, y'all. We got Mills and Ariel. We finna kill this shit. Hit that shit, Javier. Oh, bitch up. You know what I'm saying, Dre? Bought, Bought a phantom cause I always wanted one. Made a feel with them bitches, ain't no one on one. Got this watch and this watch is like a one on one. All my niggas millionaires, it ain't just one. Got a few chains on, I don't have a one. Bought a few houses, but I never sleep in one. And I can have 10 cars and I would drive one. And when you make it from the bottom, the chosen one. Yeah. You ready? Who ready? I know, I, did, I know this first okay, yeah. word. Rich nigga since birth. Yeah. Louis V. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that shit. We outside. Bought a phantom because I always wanted one. Rich nigga since birth. Louis V. Chichilla. Bought a brand new Rover. Driving like a four wheeler. Started going AP. Hey, and I don't know with them crystals. Hey, started to do it like Molly. I woke up with a brand new Rover. Eight. Future, what's up? Let us do better. Y'all next week. Period. We out. <laughs>